Have you ever felt overwhelmed when you go into the grocery store and you have no clue what to buy at the grocery store just to live a healthy lifestyle? Well, you're not alone. And I'm going to share tips with you to show you how to navigate the grocery store and feel calm and at ease and be healthy. So I'm Milan of So Natural Wellness, a healthy lifestyle expert who also happens to be a chef. So in this video, you're going to learn some of my tips and strategies that will help you to live a healthy lifestyle and stay healthier and navigate the store with ease. You know, one thing about a grocery store is they can be really overwhelming. And you go inside, there's people everywhere, long lines, and your intention was to go in and get out in a timely fashion. But it just never seemed to happen. And because of all of the that's going on in the grocery store, plus you don't have your list, People are setting up demonstration booths so you can, you know, eat a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And you throw caution to the wind because you don't know where to start or what to get. And then you start putting everything in your basket basket that's not really healthy. So what can you do, right? So these are some of my tried and true tips. One thing I do is I always shop seasonally. So I look at... Um, a list of foods that would be um, good for this season because you don't want to eat anything that's out of season because the flavor is just not going to be up to par. So buy in season. Um, I always make sure that I'm buying really good food and good, good spices, good herbs. So the first thing that you need to do is have a plan. Really have a plan in place. And the first plan that you should have in place is having a list. When you have a list that allows you to stick to the list Get in and get out because now you're focused. You're moving in with an intent. And then the second thing you want to do is make sure that you have the basics. So what are some of the basics? So some of the basics are plenty of fruits and vegetables. And there is no end to the amount of fruits and vegetables that you can choose. If there's something that you haven't tried before, quickly Google it to see how to make it. Um, just to give you an example, example a couple nights ago, I had a fennel salad with a broccolini. And just in case you're not familiar with broccolini, broccolini is in the broccoli family. So it's very uh, fibrous. It's um, a little bit more, as I would say, chic than um, broccoli. It's lean, it's lean, it's very elegant, it's not as fibrous as broccoli. But it's very tasty, especially when you saute it and, um, and add your salt and pepper. That's it. So the next thing you want to do to make sure you have the basics and you're um, put into your basket of um, whole grains, maybe like your uh, oatmeal, your brown rice, whole grain cereal. And if you're not exactly sure what to do with um, brown rice, it's always three to one. So three parts liquid to one part rice. And when you're cooking it, make sure that you add... Um, um, chicken stock. So you want a flavor in it. And chicken stock, unless you're vegetarian, is loaded with flavor, is a little bit more flavorful than chicken broth because the simmering and the cooking time is a little bit longer. The next item you want to have in your basket is skinless chicken, um, poultry, turkey, fish, lean cuts of beef, um, items like that, sauces, seasonings, and the seasons that I always aim for are seasonings that are um, in harmony with a certain country. So if I want Thai food for the week, then I know to have my coconut oil, I know to have my turmeric, my curry, coriander. If I'm looking for Spanish foods, I make sure that I have span, um, seasonings that match that particular country. Italian, it's the same thing, and French, the same thing. French love dill. Italians, um, they love their herb, um, they love, you know, cooking with certain elements like your olives. Um, having your oils, making sure you have the right oil to do the right thing. So olive oil is really a finishing oil. So you don't want to cook with olive oil. Because certain oils, once they get up to a certain temperature, they become carcinogen. So if you're going to be cooking with high temperatures, Use oils such as grapeseed oil, and actually, grapeseed oil is the one that I personally prefer and is the one that I keep in my home besides olive oil, because a lot of the other oils, the peanut oils, 
are have flavor and you don't want anything to compete with your food or your spices um, or if you're using wine to cook with your food. So I use grapeseed oil because it very, has a very neutral flavor and, um, and it's withstand the high temperatures without you know, causing carcinogenic environment in your body. And another thing is don't forget your wine. Wine is so important to your meal because what grows together pairs together. So when you're eating foods from that are Latin based, um, that are um, that are more spicy, you want a sweet wine. If you're drinking, if you're eating foods that are more Latin based or Italian based, you want to make sure that you have the wine from that particular region, because wine only serves to enhance your dinner. And in those countries, they always have wine because it pairs well with what grows together. So keep your list. These are some, some of my quick tips that you can do to get into the market and get out of the market. Keep your list with you. Don't overstress about it. Try to go early in the day where there's less people and not as much overwhelm. And if you're going to cook, maybe schedule one day a week where you do at least three days of cooking. And that way, you're ready for the week and you're ready to execute and you're ready to live a healthy lifestyle. And if you enjoyed these tips, I would love to talk to you. I'm... Um, Scheduling some time in my schedule right now, and I have some um, slots open to speak with you to offer you my Chic Women Don't Diet Makeover. And what that is is an opportunity to allow us to talk to see what are some of the obstacles that you're having to getting to, to reaching a healthy lifestyle and how we can help you to get over those obstacles so that you can live a more healthier lifestyle. So, until our next time, as always, stay beautiful and healthy. And I'm going to include the link right with this video. So just click on the link and schedule your Shake Women Don't Diet makeover. And until next time, stay beautiful.